Coach Kelly said that you know you've kind of gone back to the fundamentals here uh, and kind of gone back to the, to the place where you were last year right. in terms of your success. Just take us through that process of. He said you maybe were going through too many interceptions for a bit. Yeah, it was. Um, <laughs> so in the spring, um, it, it wasn't something that I wanted for myself um, because I was being too aggressive, putting so much pressure on myself to make all these plays. Um, I told you guys, I'm like, I, I want to be, I want to get more interceptions, I want to go for it. And then he helped me realize that that's not what made me successful this past season. Um, yes, I got a few interceptions. Uh, I scored on some of them. Um, but it was really just doing my job. I think I'm set up um, to do well in this defense. Uh, and they, they rely on me heavily in this defense. Um, a lot of one-on-one -on -one situations. And so <clears throat> I just need to do my job um, and do my assignment. And those are the interceptions. I and mean, when you look at Michigan State, I was just playing the defense. Uh, NC State, I was just playing the defense and the ball was thrown to me. Uh, Wake Forest, I was man and made a play on the ball. And so he helped me realize that I got to stop do, going outside of my body to make these plays and just let it come, let the game come to me. How do you balance that mentality? Because obviously you now have grown a reputation for yourself for doing those things. So how do you balance that? I think that was the issue for me. I mean, <laughs> I did well. I made uh, some interceptions. and. It's hard to tell somebody who wants the ball on defense to like, all right, let the game come to you. Um, and I mean, it's tough. And Coach Light is heavy on me. Coach Joseph doing a great job with me, which we've developed a good relationship this. I mean, this summer um, to let the game come to me and work through my technique and you know eliminate things and possibilities in my mind before the play starts. And I think that um, is key in balancing uh, between trying to do too much. A lot of players always say that they don't pay attention to watch lists or things like that. But in reality, I mean, did you feel like you had to do more because you're being talked about in those terms of being one of the best cornerbacks? Uh, and maybe you went outside of what, you know, maybe you were capable of? I think so. I think um, I think back to my high school coach, Tim Rackey, and he was always so big on me and our team of um, – it's like a mouse trap. The game's like a mouse trap, um, and all the distractions are the cheese. Um, and um, and when you focus on the distractions, you know all these watch lists, all these you know, preseason rankings, you're biting the cheese. And what happens when you bite the cheese? You get your head cut off. Um, and so I, I mean, I called him recently, and he just reminded me of that. And it's just something so simple. Um, and I mean, watches are great. My mom's pretty happy about them. Um, my dad's proud. I'm sure he's talking about it at work. Um, but for me, I just got to keep doing my job. That was last season. It has nothing to do with this off season or this upcoming season. It's just all what happened last season.